Michelle and I can never stress enough the importance of being able to track conversions for your PPC campaigns. Google has the website tag. Facebook has their own pixel. LinkedIn has the insight tag. Well, Microsoft has their own version called the UET tag. In this video, we will show you where to find the tag and set it up within Microsoft Ads. We will show you the options on how to install the tag on your website, but for this demo, we will only fully walk through the Google Tag Manager setup. Then we will show you how you can create conversions as well as audiences so you can get all the information you need to optimize your Microsoft Ads campaigns. I'm in the Pay Media Pro's Microsoft Ads demo account. So right away, if you're brand new to Microsoft Ads, I wanna show you where to find the UET tag. In your navigation, find tools, and it is definitely not new, even though it's been flagged as new forever in all of our accounts. Right under conversion tracking, there is the UET tag. I'll also give a heads up that since we already have the tag created in our account, the visuals and experience you might see in this video might be different to you if you're creating this tag for the first time. So to try to mimic that experience as best as possible, I will go ahead and create another tag. Most likely you will just need one, but let's walk through the actual tag creation steps. You will need to name your tag. Go ahead, enter description. Right away you can decide if you want to enable Microsoft Clarity on your UET tag. If you're not familiar with Microsoft Clarity, you can check out this video here. I'll admit this video is a little outdated, but it still gives you a pretty good understanding of what Clarity is and what it could do for your site. For a free tool, I think it's very valuable. So spend some time later and check out our Clarity video. Scrolling down a little bit, you can choose to share your tag just with the account. So essentially you're not sharing it at all, or you can choose a manager account if you're tied to someone's Microsoft's MCC account. Somebody else is managing your ads for you. I'm gonna leave it as is, save and next. Then you can choose to install the tag yourself. This is where Microsoft will give you the code as well as instructions on how to install it manually on your website. You will then have the option to email the code to someone and then that person will get directions on how to install the tracking code. If you use any sort of platforms, examples they give right in the description, WordPress, Wix, Shopify, BigCommerce, these platforms have built-in capabilities where you can install the tag directly within the platform. Makes it pretty easy. Or what I'm comfortable using, Google Tag Manager. This is assuming you already have Google Tag Manager on your site, but for this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Microsoft's UET tag with Google Tag Manager. Now, if you choose Tag Manager and click Next, there'll be a window pop up and you'll have to grant Microsoft access to your Google Tag Manager account. And you'll do it through that platform. However, there's an easy way to do it if you want to install the tag yourself. I'm gonna click Next. Here is the code where if you want to manually install the tag yourself, it gives you directions on where to do it. If you're sending the instructions to somebody else, they give you another opportunity to do it here, but that person will receive these instructions as well as this code. For now, I'm gonna skip all this and click next. I'll show you why. And then it says all done, but we're not done. We're still gonna install the tag. Okay, that is because after we're done creating it that way, it's quick, it's done, at least the tag is created, even though it's not installed yet. I just wanna get this tag ID. So let me go ahead, open up our Google Tag Manager account. And as you can see, we created ours five years ago, so I still call it Bing's UET tag, not Microsoft. But if you're installing this brand new, click on new. And under Tag Configuration, scroll down until you find Microsoft. There it is, Universal Event Tracking. Because then we would need the tag ID. So let's head back to Microsoft. For this example, I'm gonna just copy the new one that we created, head back to Tag Manager, and paste it in to the tag ID field. Then for your trigger, you're gonna to wanna to choose All Pages. I'll have to name it, click Save, and there it is. And then to see if our tag is working, I'll click Preview. We already have our website there. Of course, this is the website where we have our Tag Manager account installed. Click Connect. It's gonna be another window that pops up that shows our website. This is in case we want to click around, test any other events, but I'm gonna head back to Tag Assistant. And then there's our original being UET tag. It fired, but the new one we created was the Microsoft UET tag. So I know this one is good. I can X out of these preview screens. And then if I wanted to, we could submit and publish the new tag. Now for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna use our original tag ID. It's just gonna make things a lot easier. So we tested the tag via Tag Manager. We know Tag Manager is working and it's firing off our desired tag. It may just take a couple minutes for you to see some activity, but if you keep refreshing this page, after you know that the tag is installed on your website, either manually, through your partner platforms, or through Tag Manager, this red unverified will show up as green active. 
If there's no activity within 24 hours, your tag will go back to the red unverified. But in our case, we know it's on our site. For all of you Chrome users out there, I recommend installing the UET Tag Helper. It's already on my Chrome browser, but when I record videos, I don't show my bookmarks bar, so you can't see that I already have it installed. But if you install this, it'll live by all your other extensions with this logo. So I'll head back to our website. I'll click on the Microsoft UET extension. There's a little tag helper box. And since I was already on this site today, I was already using the tag helper today. Everything's showing up. There is our main tag ID. If you're wondering what this one is, we had to install a different one for their digital marketing center program. So ignore the top one. This is our actual tag ID that we have within our Microsoft ads account. But if it's your first time using it, you will first have to click this on and then refresh the page. Then you'll start seeing the tag information. If everything is green check mark, looking good, then you know it's working. So this might be the quicker way for you to get verification instead of waiting to refresh your UET tag page. But once you have your tag set up and created, then you can go back up to your tools and settings and start creating your conversion goals. I'm not going to go through all the different types of conversions you can track within Microsoft. It's going to be different for every account but I do wanna talk about it and why you need to have the UET tag first, is that if we go and start to create a goal, I'll just choose website for now, click next. I'll have to set the category, just do lead, and I'll click next again, name the goal, choose a destination URL, enter in that piece. If you want to assign a revenue value, go for it. Go through all of your advanced settings, I'm gonna skip this for now, click next. And then once we finally get to this step, you pretty much connect the conversion action with your UET tag. So I can already say, yes, my tag was already installed. I can save and go to the next part. There's another image of the tag helper extension. So you can go to your extension, check and make sure that the tag is on your confirmation pages and things are working. And then come back and make sure that the tracking status updates so you know that it is active. If I highlight it, we can look and test this goal. But honestly, when I do that, it's just gonna recommend the extension. Another reason why you want to have your UET tag set up is if you want to create audiences. Because before you can create an audience to use for any form of remarketing with Microsoft Ads, you need to have your UET tag set up. But this audience lives within our original UET tag that we had set up, so we can use it in search ads, as well as Microsoft's audience network, which is their native ad platform. And last, I'm going to show you one more thing. Heading back to the UET tag, I'm going to select our original tag, and then a couple tabs over, you will see Insights. Now this is a fairly newer feature. We see it's still in beta. Not every account has this yet, but one of our client accounts does have it. I'm gonna hop into that account to show you. Now, sorry if things are super small. I zoomed out on purpose, but this is it. I know it's not that exciting, but I still wanted to show it to you because it lives because of your UET tag. Website Insights is fairly new, but it's not robust. Everything you see on the screen right here is what's included. There are no other pages. So within the date range that you've chosen, you'll get total session count, average active time, look at quickbacks. This means that someone landed on a page and then quickly went back to where they were before. You get popular pages by visits, device breakdown, and then the top five countries. That's it. Hopefully it becomes much more robust like the insights tools that we get with a lot of the paid social platforms. LinkedIn has a pretty robust insight section. You can watch that video here and Microsoft now owns LinkedIn. So maybe we can get something like that in here in the future. So keep an eye on this, but since it's still in beta and not every account has it yet, probably going to be a long time before we see any upgrades to this, if any at all. But that is how easy it is to install the UET tag. Tracking in paid media is absolutely essential. If you want to track conversions or use audiences, you need to create the UET tag. This information is extremely valuable to help you optimize your account and improve performance. If you run into any trouble installing the UET tag or setting up any conversions or audiences with it, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.